There we go. Welcome to the stream, people. How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you're all doing well tonight. Um, Daisy. Okay, I'm just making sure that my uh, mic's right. Daisy made a new channel today. I will not. No, she didn't. She made a new channel like a week ago and only has, I think, nine subs. The last time I checked, seven subs at the beginning of the, the day when I found it. Which is weird because, like, when I went to go get the the Daisy stuff for today, um, I she she hadn't uploaded anything on her channel since we last checked it. So I was like, okay, um, searched her up on the YouTube's and found this channel. So I have everything that she posted from this week um, on this new channel here. It's like in the thumbnail. It's the Wawa channel. Uh, if you just search D, I put actually the link in the description so you can just. If you want to sub to her and tell her, tell her Steve sent you, um, do that because she needs the subs. She's like, I'm in trouble. I can't go live streaming. I We could show her a workaround for that. But um, yeah, she's in trouble and she can't use her channel anymore. Some, something's happening and it's evil. It's very nefarious. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll find out. Because I haven't really watched any of these. But I have them prepped for us. Uh, we'll go through the shorts first. Just because they're, they're short and sweet. And um, hopefully she gives us a little bit of insight. And then we'll do the, the videos in order. So I go like shorts in chronological order. Just from this week. Um, and then the videos. And I hope you're all doing amazing today. Sandy, Kat Johnson, Ryan. Uh, screenshot this. Kelly. Whoopsies. Um breaking my stuff <laughs> trying to scroll uh jill jill how you doing today uh megan my love and i don't think we got anyone else jeff we got jeff as well uh if i miss anyone and my, my pit's gonna be working it's nine in the morning she's in the future uh 9 a.m tomorrow yeah hello <laughs> hello jill um what do you what do you think about this new channel? Um, does she usually use lose her YouTube channels? And do you know why it took? I don't. It has no traction. Her whole channel had like two hundred views total. I was very surprised. Um, did she buy her subs on the other channel? I know it's weird. And Teresa, Teresa, hello. How are you doing tonight? I hope you're doing great. So yeah, let's just let's, let's see what she's been up to. Let's see what's going on. I need everyone to subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, I can't live stream. I'm in trouble in my other YouTube channel. It really sucks. So just subscribe so I can live stream. And YouTube needs to stop getting people in trouble. But what are you in trouble for? Punishment doesn't work because we have to ask ourselves the reason that we want people to do something. And if we want them to do it because they change their heart, then we don't punish we do something more relational. She she lost her channel before by, by showing her boobs. I mean, like, I'm not surprised. That can makes a lot of sense. That's what's up. I know that one. I know that one. You have a feeling and a need. And maybe we're talking about maybe deceptive practices, or maybe like walking on people we <laughs> shouldn't be walking on people our evaluations or our strategies or some kind of comparison but i know that one you have something you're going to bat for and that's why your emotions are so big it's why big emotions seem really urgent and important and why you're getting louder and more volatile and frustrated because i know that one this is very sweet to you and this is one of your deep desires and your deep longings because you know it will make life even more wonderful. I know that one. But you're very likely to get your needs met if you're relational and loving and sweet and very unlikely to get your needs met if you're agitated and hijacked. So do your work. Get back into your person. To go to a little chillax. Expand. We're going to call her our yoga studio, the Healing Arts Dojo. And it's going to be in Venice. Where is she right now? I guess she's not homeless anymore. I see like at least, maybe not one comment a day, but at least one a week. Probably uh, four comments a week being like, Daisy isn't homeless. All right. She's not a homeless lady. She acts like a homeless lady. I don't know where this is. I just thought she stayed with like her kings, her endless kings and the perfect prince. But like, 
she doesn't have her own place, right? She lost her place when she's being crazy with her kids and stuff. Beach, and it's going to be amazing. And Ember Sweet Sweets can teach 20-minute hot yoga classes. Because not everyone can do a whole 60-minute hot yoga class. And some people are so intimidated by it. Why would they even show up that part? Isn't that genius? You're so smart. Look at you. You're so smart. She's engaged to Arkansas guy now. The one in the car, the one I did the close up of the car, because he's, he looks like an Eggman. I don't even know what an Eggman is, but if uh, he, he's that. So smart and handsome. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Come to the healing mat stage. You're so cute. Look how lovely you are. So you can come to, come to the new and restore and heal and bring the He's Emperor Sweet Sweet. I love her names for these guys. Better you. It's going to be our safe time. And we're going to stretch and lengthen. It's going to be so much. Is that where she's on the the trash cans? I have that one. Do I have that one queued up? I mean, I could get it queued up pretty easy. I have it. Uh, if not, I'll go to um, it from today to see. Much fun. We're going to do it over and over again. And... You're going to find the most amazing version of yourself. So come join us. Come find I'm sure he knows about it, right? Maybe he's just like, I can handle it. We're in our head. In our sympathetic nervous system, we evaluate, think, strategize. Then we use course of giving and demanding, threatening, punishing, rewarding. She's so quiet. I have her jacked all the way up, too. Mama Mia. We need to start, I need to start like reprocessing the audio because I bunched, I mushed, I mushed a bunch of these together today anyways. I could have jacked the audio up on some of these, um, but I just figured Daisy knew how to run her channel. I mean, clearly not though, because she lost the, the 5k one. Even if it's like positive, rewarding. So coercion. It's just as bad as punishment. And if we're in our heart, we're tuning. We're tuning to feelings. And she looks confused. Like she's confusing herself because she's talking to herself. So I wonder what's up with that. And tuning to needs, feeling nervous systems, and then resonating with them like instruments playing together. And when we put our attention on meeting needs, we're not offering. How many times do we say, well, this is what I offer. Here's what I offer. Instead of actually asking, what are you needing? What would you love? What would make life more wonderful? What do you desire? What are you longing for? I mean, whispering kind of only works to get people's attention like in real life. If you're whispering on a video and I can only turn you up so loud, I just won't be able to hear you. You know, but that's like kind of like a, a technique people use. If they want you to really pay attention to them, they'll just start talking quieter. So you have to focus in more on them. I don't think it works here. Here, I just like, I'm, eh, I'm not putting this back. We got too much stuff to get through. I'm going to speak at Edmund D. Edelman Children's Courthouse today. And it usually takes a while for the video to upload. And I'm going to be speaking for a couple hours. So... This is where I'm going, and it's also where they take away the children, and um, there's going to be all kinds of parents there. What's cool is I'll be there while people are in lunch. We get there at 11.30. Do I have the right Works one? break at 12. People oh. will come out. I'm going to be in contact no. with a bunch of parents. Everyone's no. going to be out of the courtroom. They'll okay, be able to hear me. Lot. I'm going to be speaking right in front. So it's time for a love illusion at Edelman. A love that was her. That was the whole brand. You know, that's kind of like right where we left off was her being like, "It's a love illusion, baby," and she's going to the courthouse. In this week, like I was skimming through the videos while I was getting them put together. She shows up at the chorus of the fucking megaphone and uh, I'm sure says a whole bunch of very interesting things. Children's courthouse. 
Edmund D. Edelman. You show up on people's worst day. There we go. Now I can kind of level the audios a little bit. Oh my, mamma mia. And they call her mamma mia. What will we want? Hey, take away their children. You wouldn't be taking away kids unless you cared. But here's the thing you're not helping. Our strategies. Thank you, Jill. Thank you. Are actually hurting. Alcoholics Anonymous, the alcoholic benefits by helping the alcoholic, which means parents like me should be helping parents, not enforcers like you. Not that you don't have the charisma, charm, compassion, care, gifts, talents, skills that are needed, I'm sure. But we heal drunks by getting other drunks to go help them. It's called Alcoholics Anonymous. And we can't have police and social workers in our families anymore. That it? That's where it ends? Hold on. That is where that ends. Okay, so now we got... I don't know what this is. Let's find out. We have seven minutes. Back with I like our conversation. fucking terrible audio. You just act natural. It's not live stream because I'm on YouTube time now. So... Actually, you guys want to see what, since we have it here, I'll put, let's do this. Let's watch the, uh, the whatchamahalit, Kuzo we call it. Um, I just had it. Where'd it go? Here we go. Actually, let me open it up on the right place here. I'll share this instead. And, and, oh, is it going to be a vertical or a horizontal video? How are we going to do that? So, I mean, we get the gist. this is a beautiful purple flower. And if you keep looking, there's thousands of beautiful purple flowers that are about to grow here. Yeah. So, this is just a short update video asking everyone you guys ask me the questions that you want to know a lot of you give your evaluations but you don't ask me what you want to know you don't tell me what needs are up or what you feel so i want to know what you guys want to know about these topics the first one my children so my mother and my eldest son came to my wedding. My oldest had a sleepover and I've been visiting my kids every week, bringing gifts, leaving when asked to. Meanwhile, my mom's in contact with Prince and I'm thinking that this is within the rules and apparently my mom's been keeping tabs and trying to say that I'm, um, she's not saying I'm harassing or threatening or anything. She just say I leave, but she's saying that I should get in trouble. So I have four court dates coming up. So if you guys want to know about that, my mom, the update on my kids is my mom. I mean, like her and Heather are kind of in the same boat right now. Not too eerie. Filed a restraining order and it's for another three years for my three kids, which is me nine years of alienation. So that's the update on my kids. The update on Prince is that um, Prince and I have not spoken since he ghosted me. Prince ghosted you? He had plans with my boys the next day. And this is maybe why my mom filed this stuff. Prince ghosted. Maybe she feels I'm making the choices. I've chosen a new prime. Oh, if you, I think if you just click like the at, it should work. If not, I'll fix it. I marry, and um, I have asked the Emperor Sweet Sweets to be head of the Heat Hive. So, our wedding is the day after Prince and I's annulment is final on August. In no man's land, same place tonight. Tied the knot. So come and join us. 
and let me know what you want to know about the update with Prince. So that's the second update, kids and Prince. Quick stuff too. Ooh, not very stressful. Okay, update with my mom, number three. I love her. And that's been like the biggest celebration of all is being able to dissolve like any enemy images or anger. And I just want to learn and grow, do it better. And then uh, that's three, my mom. And then update number four, update on me is um, I will be celebrating six years California sober on August 2nd. So I'm very excited about that. And um, I'm over the moon in love with my new emperor. He is up on the hill at my side. And we are working with Nick Adams, the head of the LAPD in this section. We're gonna, we're intending on working with Karen Bass, the mayor, and doing all sorts of projects. So if you wanna update on my projects, Emperor Sweet Sweet is my new partner. So if Daisy the Venice Healer had like, you know, all of my weaknesses, he kind of compliments. So he's pretty chill and introverted and you guys know how I am. Let me know your question. Santa Monica close up. Cool guy. Um, okay. I don't maybe I missed the wedding part. I was trying to ooh, fix the description, but it doesn't let me do it from StreamYard. Of course it won't. Um, so I gotta do that in a second here. I'm gonna flop it, flip it, flop it back over here. And uh, I'll do it so the minute. You know, every single email address coincides with like a YouTube channel. You just sign in through your email. So I just like switched account. So now the other one says Wawa. Oh. Look at that traffic. Oh, we could go in carpool. Please. I don't like her singing. It's not my jam. I kind of want to um, see the video that went viral at DPSS that Don told me about. But um, at the time, I didn't ask about it because the topic was on. They were like critiquing and they were like talking about like my success, basically. So I didn't want to be like, oh, can you see the video? Oh, I Usually I don't care because I hear like about that stuff all the time. But if Don saw it, then I'm kind of interested. Don said that when you first start trying to become a leader or an influencer and change and open people's hearts. Some will ignore you. Okay, there we go. And they'll think like, oh, they'll just go away. And then after ignoring Okay, if you refresh the page, the link should be fixed now. Like I have two links in there. And I don't know what it did. It like switched it to some weird gibberish. I had at Daisy the Venice Healer. And then it switched it to gibberish. So I, don't, I don't know. But thank you. Who was that who'd let me know? Um, because I would have known that. Gina, thank you. Thank you very much for letting me know brain you doesn't work then they'll ridicule you and make fun of you and then when that doesn't work then they just straight up attack you and then after that then you're able to like basically show who you are is she telling all this to arkansas guy this is a sign arkansas man does he like this maybe he likes this discussion Maybe, maybe. And then that's when you win people. It's when you earn their trust. It's when you start to receive more respect. They were taxed really well. So they were telling me. He sounds weird. Maybe I shouldn't be mean. He sounds 
Weird. But that's the stage that I'm in now. People are going to attack. Which is true. Remember when I told you I sang that song, Blame It on Daisy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that came from, from what Don said. And that was before the video went viral and then he kind of brought some stuff up. But, um, but it's true. Like, I did kind of see that too. Because like, I guess if people don't understand you, then they're like, what? Right. And then once they understand, then they're like, okay, okay, now I get it. Right. Um, and that, I guess it just made me feel like it's okay to get attacked. It's okay to get rid of... He does. And it's okay to get ignored. Because there are, there are those who are leaning in. There are those whose eyes are twinkling and just as bright as mine and who share the interests that I share. And those are the okay. spirits and nervous systems that I am inclined to look towards. And of course, these others are going to be like, pay attention to me. So in their own way, it's like, oh, really? Well, then I'm going to ignore you. Oh, really? Well, then I'm going to make fun of you. Oh, really? Well, now I'm going to attack you. Because I'm not even paying attention to them. Um, And even with attacks, like... I just want to know what's happening with the other YouTube channel. Like, did she get locked out of it? Did she get a community guideline strike? Did she get a copyright strike? Like, what happened? Um, Because people... It's like, I made this... People just hate me, but I'm going to overcome all the adversity. I already made another YouTube account because you just have to sign in through a Gmail and you have a YouTube account. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, but I just want to know what happened. Did I miss it while like I was zoned out? <laughs> I zoned out on her sometimes. Well, I was zoned out on her, but I fucking be reading chat and shit. Like Ryan said, just wait for Dan, the Don of Arkansas, tries the voice his actual opinion and she says it like dogs and then she's gonna bam, bam with the knife and a yeah yeah she doesn't she likes to abuse them dogs by her own words she said that well literally on multiple occasions told have been telling youtubers like do not film her because there's some people who see the homeless as like really bad and they see me as like disruptive <laughs> and they don't realize like I think that's just what the Arkansas guy sees. He just sees boobs. He's like, I can, if I can just tune around, it'll be all right. Actually changing hearts. Um, I'm not, I'm not only there to disrupt systems and that's not even my intention. And I'm called cap on that. She likes disrupting shit. That's her whole jam. That's her jam. She loves, what are you talking? You're on your way to disrupt a courthouse, right? Like, that's the setup here? What's this called? Um, to those people? On on way to Westminster Courthouse. That's what this video is titled. So, no, I don't like disrupting things. I'll say things, like, because the YouTubers will ask me, and I'll like, say, like, well, to those people, I'll just tell them I, I love you, and everything you say about me is true, and I'm working on myself. <laughs> and thank you for, for showing me who I am and being so direct about it. I I really what what did she say in text? I'm curious. <laughs> She's like, you can empower yourself, goddess. Come live at a prince's crack shack on the beach, and we can. Did she tell you her like business plan or any plan? Is she just like to talk about Netflix or something? I don't know. I'm curious. I really prefer like more vulnerability and softness and sweetness from you. But if you can't tell me what you're feeling and needing a, and your beautiful vision of a better world, I could still do the work and translate it through however you say it. And I, I, I see the, that you want a more beautiful world and you want more from me. And I want that too. Mm-hmm. I'll say something. She can just sense it. She can just sense it. Or she's telling you specifically. I, I just know that this is what you want. So she won't. Go make the world better for Daisy. What's this guy's name? Is it Dan? Dan from Arkansas? He looks like a Dan. An egghead Dan. Dan would be a good name for an egg, actually. You know what I mean? Like, if you ever have a pet egg, you should name it Dan. (laughs) And I'll be like, and you're right about me. (laughs) So... 
Um, I'm still learning too. I say every time I, people ask this question, because like this gets asked a lot too. Who is this person? It's Daisy. I don't really know what else to say other than that. I used to say she's a homeless lady. And people are then people say she's not homeless. So like she is Daisy, and she's a Venice healer. That's what she. That's her name, the Daisy, the Venice healer. And she lost her YouTube channel, or she's uh, locked out of it, or something. Something's happening with it. So she made this new one. So you have to go sub to her. The links in the description say say Steve sent you, and then um, yeah, she needs enough to go live again, or else. We'll miss out on all this great content. I told you I beat up Prince one night because I got so tired of him beating me up. And the worst part was not when he would hit me, it was when he would scare me. No, I do not have an OnlyFans. <laughs> like, chase me around. So I got tired of it. So I kicked his ass one night. So I talked about hey. it on my live stream because I don't want to hit. And and because I was talking about what was happening, neighbors were getting involved, friends were getting involved. Prince and I were being wrapped in support and care. And the hitting stopped. And then actually a bunch of behaviors got better. Really? He just went to go do his lesson with someone else. Lesson is complete with me because I learned to not hit. I learned to not do that anymore. There was this one night he grabbed my throat just like I grabbed my son Chris's throat. And why do you keep bringing that up? She's a terrible PR person. Maybe that's why her video, maybe that's why her channel has got like a community guideline strike talking about bad things. I mean, you can talk about some bad stuff though. I just, I want to know. I want to know. I hope through the end, by the end of this stream, we know why she got her channel. Did she just forget her password? Imagine that's the case. She just forgot her fucking password. She had it like written down on a, I don't know, like a seashell or something. And some crab came along and decided to live in it. And it went out to sea and now it's got, she doesn't know her fucking password anymore. Did that, did that happen? And it upset me so much that I was like, oh, like you're going to put me at risk. You don't care about me. Well, watch, watch me hit your dog. And if I can't hit you and and brutalize you because you're too big and scary like what if i do it to your dog in front of you and hurt you that way which is a horrible strategy and i shared that with my channel also because i don't want to hit and megan is gorgeous yes you guys you guys are sweet people to this day like no one will ever let me forget about that <laughs> and same when i talk about i use hit my kids because it's true stop Bringing that up, I don't know. She needs she needs help. They, I, we don't need to know about it. Our, one video would suffice. Be like I did something really bad, you know, and I regret it. Why are you bringing it up? Like oh, any chance possible? I get like owning your shit, but like this might be why you can't see your kids. True, I did hit my kids. I told my oldest son I never hit him. He's like, that's not true, mom. You hit me because I was in blackouts all the time. I don't remember what I did. Um, she hit the dog as a tactic to get Prince to, I, I was going to say pay attention to her, but she didn't want him. She didn't want him to pay attention to her. Like she was sick of his shit. She wanted him to leave her alone. So she was like, it was a bad tactic for me to hurt the dog because I'd never done that before. But, um, yeah, apparently it was some stupid tactic. I don't know about the kids. I think the kids... Did she get into why she strangled the kids? I don't know. And I think it's important that we talk about this stuff and not be ashamed, the same as alcoholics do. Yeah. Because that's how we heal. The first step is honesty. This place right here is an example of our society and why we can't be honest. If I walked in there and I was honest about every single thing, they would they would lock my ass up <laughs> that that doesn't sound incriminating at all what is this this is uh, on the way to protest your rights in front of the fucking courthouse right and that wouldn't help anyone all right how do we get this thing to work yeah honesty won't help anyone here Gonna be a love showdown. Gonna be a love showdown. 
Maybe we're not meant to do it today. It has to be on the computer first. What? Is she on drugs? She does drugs, right? Like she seems kind of tweaky today. My pad's still in the USB. It's gonna be a long showdown. We could return it. No, 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 because we're gonna use it another we got a lot more to do. <laughs> oh, I thought that maybe it was obsolete because it had a USB <clears throat> drive. No, 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 no. It has to be. I didn't. I should have read it last time. Um, it has to be formatted to the USB drive. And it has a Bluetooth. Uh, what? Yes. Oh no, we just upload it to the computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. I don't know what they're talking about. I think they're talking about how to. Uh, Work their equipment is the I don't know I don't know what they're done. That'd be cool, and I can have like hours of video on it. Mm -hmm. We probably need to. Um, <clears throat> we probably need to get you a GoPro, a small GoPro that you can wear. All is that what her justification was for? She said some weird thing about strangling her kid cleared her past trauma. What the fuck? Yeah, but for for like DCFS offices. No, but I'm just saying. Like yeah, places like general, yeah, yeah maybe. place where I want to sneak around. Yeah. I did see that, Kenny. Isn't that weird? Yeah, when you wouldn't think I'd see something like that. Yeah, Lisa Jordana, former Howard Stern writer, was arrested for assaulting her pay pig. I know that was a pay pig. That was I thought that was supposed to be her boyfriend. He seemed not straight. Um, I don't know if that's. Uh, um, I'm not trying to sound weird or anything, but yeah, um, he that was something else. He strangled her. Well. That was intense. Yeah, that was crazy. Marco, thank you for the five show hole. Uh, I don't think I will. I don't think so. I don't think so. There's body cam footage. I only saw the um, like the dash cam footage, like of them in the car, and she was like fucking hitting him, and then he was like, "Okay, enough of this shit," and she he like fucking grabbed her throat, and then she was like, "Ah," and then they both ran out of the car. That's all I saw. I was like, that's crazy. Um, there's body cam. How, how long is the body cam footage? Maybe we can watch that on the cup stream. If you do this. A million dollars? He donated a million dollars to her? Why was she hitting him? I'm going to get off track. Uh <laughs> Do that. <laughs> do you feel the oxytocin? <laughs> it's okay. Even if someone does it to you, it still works. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Happy Teeth and get my teeth cleaned. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have them fix this tooth. Maybe. Guess how I broke it? Oh. Face planting on concrete. And then I learned to keep my arms up. Da, 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 da. I love getting my teeth cleaned. You got hit in the face with a chair? Oh! Mm -hmm. <gasps> She stabbed me and hit me. What are they doing? 
Are they making out or something? They're talking, so I don't think so. Marco, thank you for the two. Is that what they're doing? He's, she's tickling him? What kind of knife? Took a kitchen knife, and I woke up, and it was about a quarter inch under my collar. I heard kitchen knife, and then I woke up, blah, 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 blah. Why are they so low? You guys, you crazy guys. You crazy guys. You got to fix your... This is a Daisy Venice Beach production. You guys are hearing stuff I can't even hear. I need to... My volume on the computer is all the way up to you. This is crazy. To me, this is crazy. I don't know. And now I can't hear anything. Did they mute? I muted them. Oh, my God. Say, hold up. I'm... I can never sleep without the door. It's just kind of a weird deal. Of course, because I imagine that that was horrific in so many ways. You probably like stopped breathing for a sec because you were so scared. And I wonder if you need acknowledgement of like betrayal. And... Thank you, Kenny. If you guys want to join the Discord, the membership link is in the description as well. And then you can watch the cup streams on the weekend where um, we watch cops on stream. Um, just feeling like astonished that someone, someone who you trusted could do this. Yeah. And you know, that's the, that's the, the worst part of it, I guess, is that you, I hope that was the last night you spent. I mean, that was, that's pretty cool love language. With her. It wasn't. That was, yeah, that was my fault. Um, yeah, I don't know what I did there. Is this the one who was doing math? No, this is the, the princess. The alcoholic mm -hmm. that you were married to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she swung a chair at me one night, and I thought I blocked it. Just got enough of it. That's why I was joking. <laughs> Been in three knife fights and never had a knife in any of them. I only got stabbed once, and that's because I was asleep. <laughs> it's been in three knife fights, and he's only got stabbed in one of them? I mean, it sounds like he's pretty good at knife fights, then. <laughs> Well, I feel, I feel very protected and very um, upset that that happened. I mean, like, at least they, they be, neither of them care about each other's shit. He's going on about fucking knife fights and chairs or whatever, and she's just like, well, that's great. And she's going on about whatever the fuck all that was, and he's like, that's great. I, I mean, match made in heaven, guys. Is this it? Is this the end, Daisy? I think this is not near the end. We got a minute left. She's just going to be typing on her... This is an old phone. My phone doesn't even have a headphone jack anymore. Okay. Mm-hmm.
I'll go find out more information for Steve and her lawyer. I don't know what that was. I guess it's just a, a thermos, though. Are we good, Daisy? <laughs> you know when I take forever to wrap up a show, but at least I'm talking? She just, like, fizzles out. I wish I was allowed to bring my ski so land. Okay, so it's, it's, we're going to finish this recording right now. So you might as well wear it if you want to. Well, there we go. Okay, so now she's at the um, courthouse with a megaphone yelling, it looks like. I mean, it looks like. I can only assume. That's usually what you do with a megaphone, right? So let's see. And if you look behavior you punish it then you're making criminals and if you look at a behavior and find I need you're making life more wonderful I want friends because I'm not a felon you could label me as such and tell me I got court 830 today my name is Lindsay Davis and I have court room you don't want to see my ass <laughs> um I don't know. I, I do not know. It would have to be something high. I'm at 8.30 and I'm telling you, no, I don't. I only have friends. And you tell that judge to throw down his cloak. Because I'm not available for this shit. I'm way too lovable. And my needs are undeniable. And you can't keep up locking up moms like me. Because where's my girl squad? You're, you're not locked up. If you were locked up, we wouldn't have all this. Um, you just aren't allowed to see your kids, huh? At, at, where's my girl squad at? Where the women at? Who's gonna back me up? There's they don't. I don't think your girl squad likes hanging out at the courthouse. I don't think anyone really likes hanging out at the courthouse. A lot of women like me who's losing kids like this just because they have a call to <laughs> love and that's What's up? You look at no. Alcoholics <laughs> Anonymous. They have 12 steps and they guarantee a spiritual awakening it's from the, since the 1930s. And you better bunch of bottom bottoms believe it's time for you and me to awaken to because literally we're stepping into an apocalypse. You guys know that our oceans are turning into acid and we got really dirty air and you know. The oceans are turning into ass or acid or ash. E any of those three are bad either way, but I didn't know that. I thought the ocean was turning into plastic i think the i think the ocean will be fine actually the ocean is big there's a lot of it, it i think it's going to overtake us one day and the ice things are going to melt and then al gore man bear pig is going to be like i told you so we're all dead now and there'll be like water world that really bad remember that movie water world terrible movie that is up it's time for a caribou Dare, and I'm sick and tired of you guys trying to punish me because I go to see my kids and I want to see my kids and you motherfuckers took away my kids six years ago because I let my 10 year old babysit my eight year old and two year old not all cultures believe what you believe I was brought up in South and Central America and my kids and I had a house in Costa Rica and I left my kids for a couple of hours and my 10 year old had a cell phone and you still took my kids and put them in separate foster homes and you wanna know the most fucked up part is? They were abused way worse than them. They were with me, but I'll tell you what, I could have used some help because I needed sobriety and I got sober and I took four drug tests a day. That's a lot of drug tests. That's a lot of drug tests to take. In one. Why would you take four in one day? I think one a day would be all right, right? What drugs are out of your system in less than a day? I must say, and I did everything that they told me to do. And you want to know what they did? They never gave me my kids. And you want to arrest me and send me to jail, motherfuckers? Because I bring them gifts? That's why I'm here for court, motherfuckers. And you want me to step in and get judged like this? Did she show up to the courthouse like this? Like she has a court date and she was like, 
before I go in, something that will really set the precedent that I am a fit mother is I will get on a megaphone and start swearing about how bullshit the whole process is. I was, I mean, it's a bad approach. I can see you're doing this after, not getting your way, but why are you starting it off like this? When you've been breaking my heart and it's been bleeding on the ground, I'm a mother. And I'm having a little need for a riptide solution in my family, if you please, because you see the court's been used like a weapon against me for long enough. It's my child calling. Did Daisy make the cat run away? I'm sorry that the cat is missing. Hopefully it comes back soon. And the police on me because of enemy in the just. And we're way too loving. Our love is undeniable. You guys wouldn't be here if you didn't care. You wouldn't be. I mean, most people are there because they have court. I mean, this is at least make my court experience a lot better. If I had to go to court, you know, before I went in, I saw this, I'd be like, at least I'm not this lady. Here, if you weren't compassionate on people's worst day, you wouldn't be showing up when people make mistakes <laughs> if you didn't care and if you weren't fearless. That's why they'd be hiring such hunky, charismatic, good-looking people to be showing up on people's worst day. I just wish they didn't strap you with the weapons, right? With those proud chests, great charisma, you're influential. So use your great powers to help people. Some people like me to help moms like me six years ago who needed to get sober. It's like if Homer Simpson was a hot, I guess not homeless lady, but almost homeless lady. <laughs> I can picture Homer Simpson showing up at the megaphone and just like saying all this. But he's also a fat guy, a man. Um, Daisy is not a fat man. She's a fit, crazy woman. Don't take away my kids! Six fucking years! Also, how did Homer Simpson never lose custody of his kids? I guess it's a cartoon, but like realistically, were times just different back then? When the Simpsons was uh doing its, it's I don't know what I'm saying. My kids been growing up without me. My two year old, you took her from my breast and let her bounce around three homes where she had two black eyes. And then during COVID, you don't let me see her. And then you give me a restraining order because after eight months, I can't take it anymore. I gotta go see my kids. And you motherfuckers arrest me just for bringing gifts. I'm a mom. You want to criminalize families? You're criminalizing families, and we used to do it with drunks. We used to do it with addicts. It was called drunkardness, and that's no longer a thing. We dissolved it. We woke up. We made Alcoholics Anonymous a program of fellowship. There's never been any controversy in it, ever. Alcoholics Anonymous has go around, gone around the whole wide world because alcoholics benefit from helping other alcoholics, not enforcers like you, not judges like you. I see your good intentions. Good for you, doing what you do. Thank you. Honestly, I just tell you, you're the super squad. But you got to have the tools to see that these are people in need, not people who need punishing. You dare keep me away from my Dylan Rose and Chris? My Dylan Rose and Chris are my children. I fed them from my breast and they want to see me. And you keep me from them. You enemy image me. Now my daughter still wants to see me. She's little, but my older son's enemy image is called parental alienation. You guys should be helping with that. Help to dissolve the rift. Thank my mom you. and I fight. Help us. Stop arresting me. Stop it. Help me stop fighting with my mom. I go there, I give gifts. I'm sweet and kind. She told me go away because she got this incredible power over. She's using it. You guys gave it to her. It's called Enforcers 911. What about a call to love? What about showing up with the most amount of love and care and the least amount of force and control? And making my life more wonderful. Help me to repair the ruptures in the relationships. Help me find more. She needs a cameraman. She, this is like a lot of... What, what are we looking at here? The sky, a tree. Life-affirming strategies to meet my needs. 
Stop arresting me for wanting to see my kids. <laughs> Stop. Dylan, Rose, Chris, those are my kids. You have me go in jail, someone standing over me every second saying, go here, do this, walk on this line, get your hands here. That's called domination system that stresses people out. We need to calm nervous systems. We need to do good. When we use our power over, we cause suffering and harm. But we can repair the ruptures in relationships and give people life-affirming strategies so they know how to collaborate with each other, so they can identify what they're feeling, their emotions, and they can track their emotions in their body. New channel is linked in the description. And also, I have it. Oh, wait. No, I don't. <laughs> I have this start. I thought I had another one started, Jill's, with the uh, the channel. But it's I fixed the description link. Unless it, is it messed up in the description again, guys? I put two. So it should, if one's broken again, I should the other one should be eight. Body, you can help people be able to discharge those emotions in healthy ways. Then you can help people identify they have needs. And one of the needs is for violence and to rage. And you can help people learn how to have healthy violence and rage, like dance or boxing or even doing massage therapy massaging another person helps to get out rage healing we can it's called alchemy taking something that hurts and making it good you're not gonna judge me tell the judge i'm too lovable i'm a friend not a felon tell the judge tell the judge stop arresting me for wanting to see my kids I'm too lovable. We're all too lovable, and we are that powerful. I swear to God, our love is way more powerful. It's undeniable. Our universal needs are undeniable. If we were going based off of needs, we wouldn't be taking away people's freedom, autonomy, choice. We would be putting people in an environment known as wraparound care. Wraparound care has been... What's wraparound care? Where we wrap beats around the town and uh, care for our kids at the same time. Tried and true. Every time it's been used in experiments, wraparound care is when you take somebody and you surround them with people who love them, build them up, help them, have different types of resources and, and gifts and talents and ways that they can support and empower and meet needs for the person. And then we raise the person, tell them how amazing and awesome they are. We need to stop evaluating people, shaming them, judging them, punishing them. I'm not available. <laughs> right, my thought. I'm lovable, can't you tell? Yeah, no, I know, right? I, it escaped me. Lovable. Break the jails free. No more jails, dude. What would happen if you put all those resources and sent them to their teacher of their choice and they were allowed to go to a Tony Robbins instead of $10,000 for jail? You send them to a $10,000 famous guru like Tony Robbins or Joe Dispenza. Why don't we spend our resources on doing good? You guys want to keep on punishing me? and putting me through the system. Every time I go through the system, everyone here makes money, but you're bored. You're not having fun, which means you're not acknowledging your lovability, which is undeniable. She's making a great argument for them to just give her kids back and quit the government jobs they've uh, obtained in life. I don't know, man. You need a little more incentive. I know like her he hive. She does probably enough for her he hive. They'll be like, I'm sick of listening to her. Let's just, what do you, what do you want? What you, moisturizer? You want to walk on my back? Sure. As long as you don't fucking talk, <laughs> you can walk on my back all day. You're too lovable to be bored. You need to have fun. And you guys are the love crusaders. Everyone in there with weapons is telling me they're fearless. They care. They show up on people's worst day. So if you guys want to take your incredible power, compassion, charisma, good looks, everything you got, use it to influence people to do good. Do good. Become the life coaches. Show up and be like, hey, man, that's not what you want to do. You guys must know the good ways to do it because you wouldn't have the violence and the weapons. Nah, he was mean to Megan too, but I can't even find the comment on my chat here. So he's gone. Don't <laughs> 
unless you knew how to be nonviolent. So you kings and queens, show people who need to be shown, like me six years ago, help them get sober. Um, well, this one, it's a sativa, so it's not that, it's not that popping. Um, my other, my indicas are kind of fucking burnt, like the vapes. Um, I'd say it's a Heather. I think Jay-Z's a little crazier than Heather, just saying a lot. Um, so I'd say it's a Heather on the mouse to Daisy scale. Help them find life-affirming synergistic, which means their way of being benefits the whole, help people find better ways to do what they do. And the best part is it's so fun. Rachel, oh, I always get them mixed up. Rhea's the really loud one. I'm like, Emma! But uh, Rachel, have I seen Rachel be really loud? I don't know. I think Daisy would have been beat up a long time ago if she was not a woman. <laughs> you know? Um, hmm. That's a good question. You would have thought so for disturbing the peace, but maybe not. I don't know. Also, where's Arkansas Prince? Or what is it? Arkansas Empress? Sweet, sweet Empress. I think that's his name. Um, why can't he be the <coughs> cameraman? <laughs> Some warm up the toaster weed or warm up the microwave. How do you warm up a microwave, bro? I don't know. This is the Levolution, guys. This is the Levolution. How long does she go over there for? Because I can't even hear her saying that. It's interesting seeing her interact with people, though, at least. Um, just like, pointing out there, blah, 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 blah. Um, so if you go to any members only video, there should be a discord uh, link in there and then I'll be I'll be there. I'll be there in the thing. You might have to check a box off or something. If not, just wait. And I'll I'll be there to do the do the thing. Um, it's complicated. <laughs> well, not really, but um, yeah, no, it's in it's in any of the members only videos. I think there's a post too. Oh, there's a in your eye, cause 
Horizontally, guys. We got five more minutes of this before I guess we see the aftermath. We do. I gotta make a. I need a whiteboard. I need to write it down. I'll write it down somewhere. Um, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Um. I guess I gotta play this while I'm writing. Our synergistic connection to Earth and our relationships do ripple. The relationship with ourselves is the same as the relationship that we have with sex and with food, and with our living space, and with our transportation. Our relationships ripple, the same relationship with ourselves will be the same way we treat others and our planet. So this is not just about me. You are judging yourself. I am not available because I'm too lovable. And you will never put me in jail ever again. Ever again. The way they hang up me, there's no food for me. There's no clean water in jail. You're never going to put me in there. Ever again, I do not give my consent. I'm not available. It's not a compassionate space. It's not available spaces for me to play and learn and grow. And these are not all my needs. I have many more. And I am unavailable for punishment because it's detrimental to my strife. And I will die. I will be in a life in a free environment. With other subjectivities who love me and who meet me where I am at and tell me I'm lovable no matter what is up to me, what my struggles are because they want to know what needs are not being met. And I want them to ask me what my celebrations are because they want to know what needs are being met and also what I like. And then I want them to ask me what is my meaning and purpose, what are my gifts and talents, I'm not just here to receive. I'm also here to give back. And I'm good at meeting other needs too. And how dare you come to me and put me in the I mean, like that last bit, to see my kids, blah! but like, I'm, I don't know, it's all just blending together at this point. The megaphone really makes it even more white noisy than usual. <laughs> gonna help her like how is this where's arkansas guy 
Is he just waiting waiting in the car in the parking lot while she does this? Is he at Wendy's or something? I I have so many questions. I want us to create a space where we ride in the third dimension. I'll start at the beginning and the first dimension is a rock. The rock is, but a rock doesn't know it. The second dimension, y'all has she ever tried selling like credit cards like this you know just walking out to people being like all your greatest dreams could come true with mastercard or something ah, maybe she could persuade people like that i think daisy needs to preoccupy her time with something Do you have um, a Twitter or an Instagram? I can like, I can DM you it, but I can't put in the public stuff because then like, I've had public discourse before and they get fucking crazy and I'm not dealing with it. I'll shut it down. I'll shut it down. So I have to put it behind like a 99 cent paywall. Um, but no, I can DM it to you, like the link directly, but it's just like in any members only video uh, description, it should be there. Dead space. Oh, deep space, dead space. Is it dead space? Hold on. It is dead space. Dead space is a good video game, Kenny. I think that's it. That's how it ends. I guess like her phone died or something. I don't know. But um, now we're back. I guess I think this is after maybe at the courthouse. Dead air, dead space, dead air, dead life. We're gonna get fucking copyright hit. Why? Why, Daisy? Why do you have to do that? Maybe they'll be cool and they'll do that, like the thing where they share. Yeah, since if not, I won't I won't cut this. It's just we won't make anything off of this, except from the troll that wanted me to show my ass. Cancel your reservations, no more hesitations. This is what kind of fucking bird is she talking to you today? Where's my girl squad? Where's my girl squad? Where's my nurturers? Where's my care bears? Where's my compassion crusaders? Where's the chain breakers? Where's the influencers? Let's hide. Let's find more elevated ways to inspire. Let's find ways to do good. If we're going to respond, if we're going to bring our energies, let's do good. Like more, I call this I call this 
take me to the motion. I need to go to the motion. I've been in communism. Oh, we still have the megaphone. Okay. I guess she's just like fucking just balling around with the megaphone now. That's cool. Oh, wow. Take me to the motion. Remember when Chris Chan covered those song the Backstreet Boy songs about like he's like um you know finding a boyfriendless girlfriend it's, it's kind of like what she's doing here she's using like just songs that are written but she'll singing over them about her kids being taken on the megaphone and then fucking i mean i just hear you know pingu pingu and fucking um the teacher charlie brown but that's all i hear out of fucking daisy I mean, it would be a really easy thing to be a Heather, not a Heather, a Daisy parody channel. Just point your fucking camera into the sky and start fucking singing through a megaphone. Perfect. You're made. And what's it? Meeting me, collaborating, giving naturally. That is what's up. This is psychology in an age of information. Go ahead and brush that dirt off your shoulder, lick your lips, and smile. It's up to you right now. The story being told, and the movie star is you, starring you, starring you right now. Are you going to be about what you're about? Or are you going to be about what someone else is about? Are you going to let someone judge you? That's not a universal need to be judged. It is a universal need to be understood. To be that where we're at in our developmental stage of learning and growth. It's a universal need. That's what's up. I call this life more wonderful. I said, but we need to take that twinkle in our eye and let's do what we want to do. And that means making friends, developing trust in our relationship. No interdependent partnerships, please. No more domination. We can just stay out of my life. Part of my 13 year old child calling the cops on me. Why? Because of systems like you, it's called parental alienation, and it's a super common thing. It's just like the moisturizer song. I'm still gonna need makeup though. You know, da 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 Marco. I don't know anyone named Marco. I don't know. Kenny, DM me who you thought it was. Um, I'm like, I don't care if guys hit on me or whatever. Um, I don't care about that. Uh, just don't call my girlfriend a whore. Just don't do that. That's what I don't like. Uh, Ryan, thank you for the 999. Just erasing the bad vibes from whole dude. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste, Ryan. Thank you. I appreciate you. Making kids paid one of their caregivers not cool. It's super lame and it makes my heart break. Please stop. Want to see my kids stop sending me to jail and stop sending her enforcers and stuff and please talk to my mom. Tell her this is not how to be strong. Takes more courage and fearlessness to have those tender talks. So please come in and help me resolve this bullshit that is going on in my family for cut to goddamn moss. It's been six years. My little girl was two. She was still drinking from my nipple. Yeah, that is true. And they were going to foster home away from her brothers, Dylan and Chris. And now they are eight, about to be 14 and 16 years old. Got some bullshit. It's been six long years. Six long years of my heart bleeding. And I'm getting so tired. I know there's better ways. Where we get to rise, where you helping me help you too. Just like alcoholics do, 12 steps replace programs like you. Get the fuck out of me. Are we, did the song switch? It got more like bouncy. Like, <laughs> or is she just switching it up? 
I like this way better because normally she has a certain kind of flow that annoys me. It's like that Disney flow, and I'm not, I don't know. I've seen too many Disney movies, I guess, growing up that I'm sick of people that just burst out into song. Like, it's not real. It doesn't happen, except if you're Daisy. Like, this is the only person I've ever seen actually, like, live like a Disney movie, but they're um, Daisy. I want to say homeless, but people would be like, you're not homeless. Well, that's good. I'm glad she's not homeless. If she isn't homeless, because I got to stop covering homeless people so much. Kenny, um, this is going to sound silly, but I deleted Twitter and I don't have my other phone to sign into this phone because <laughs> I need a backup code now. Apparently, Twitter can't just text me codes to sign into my own fucking account. Um, and then whenever there's a software update, since Twitter is also like incompetent as an app since Elon Musk took it over and it's actually called X now, um, there's like it takes up 10 gigabytes. So I delete it every time there's a software update. I forgot to reinstall it. So can you send us on Discord? Because I'm too lazy. I don't know where my other phone is right now. So that's uh yeah, I gotta redownload Twitter. I wonder what's happening on Twitter. But I will be later to ask another subject maybe like you. I will be loved and cared about. Oh no, I'm not here to express my feelings. I'm here to awaken us. I understand what you mean. I'm not but all of but I'm not asking for empathy. No one, no one I'm just asking for my kids and for them to stop arresting it. So I'm asking us to She is harshing. A lot of people's mellows. That's why we just get, we just gotta smoke more. I'll swap this out for some fucking star dog guava maniac shit. That's a, it's burning. I'll smoke some of the care, trash. They wouldn't be here if they wouldn't care. What's your intention? I can tell that I can tell you care. I think your intention is to give me empathy. What's your intention? So you're wanting for so you're wanting for me to consider them and you're wanting me to open my heart to the possibility of caring about what these people are feeling and needing. And you're guessing, and you're guessing that a good strategy to do this would be for me to do what? Yeah. What is she talking about? Computers? Something about computers to make you do what? I want to get this girl Lavelle, a Lavelle mic, to just like put right on it. We need to hear what the fuck is happening. She needs a better production company. Um, normally, I would agree with you, Cat, about uh, X being good for nothing, but X is the only reason that this channel is not dead right now because the Gala sisters copyright struck it a bunch of times. Uh, YouTube would not let my appeals go through until I went on X and was like, hey guys, YouTube wants to side with a, a couple incest child groomers. And then they were like, oh, okay, we'll let your appeals go through. So I gotta, I gotta, you know. X is cool for that. Everything else is kind of crazy. Because you're absolutely right, and I do, I actually do, I actually do care like about it. how other people feel, just as I can tell your intention what here you is. Said is accurate. I'm trying to collaborate with you because I agree with you, and I'm just saying, so I have, just tell I me what, how I can collaborate with you. When you. This is just a person out in life, just trying to collaborate with just the passerbys, that's what's happening right now. But you're explaining to me something I agree with you. I know, but. So how, Tell me how, what you want, like oh, a doable that. action. I wish I had that. That is less. The, I want a doable action because I don't know, and I agree with you. I don't want to do 
to do upon somebody who's not content right, exactly. and doesn't want, that just sense. as I so don't want someone so to do upon me. However, I, I am in a dilemma right now sure. where I'm a nonviolent communication coach and I study the systems of domination and partnership. So why would you, why would you know that you oh, know I they you. don't like that. Okay, I, I need you to go away. Who, go who are you? Me. Can I ask who you are? Me? I'm just okay, I need you. What's happening now? Why does she need to go away? Daisy just got freaked for a second. This is just finally getting a bit interesting. What's happening? Give me a little space. Is that okay? Oh, but thank you for coming by. I do like the... You need to give me more space. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. But I, but I do like everything that you said, and I agree. Goddess wants me to consider everyone. I agree with her. Not everyone may want to hear what I have to say. She's right. How did this person... She must have threatened her with something. If I speak to an audience who doesn't consent, then I'm putting myself upon someone who doesn't want to be available in a, in a degree, I agree that's violence. And I want less of that. So could someone please tell me how I could do it better? Because I've been alienated from my children for six years. And I know there's better ways, so I'm asking us. I'm trying to be a chain breaker and use my influence, which is only my experience, that's it. I don't claim to be the knower or have any power. I'm just here to say, can we all agree and have shared reality that these systems aren't working? And could we please be creative and conscious and loving ourselves where we're at? Step one in AA is honesty, acknowledging this is not working, using our power over illicit coercive giving. We want people to give naturally. We want people to have a change of heart. We don't want people to be afraid of punishment. And then that's why they give. And we have these higher ways of being now. We just need to integrate them. And if we become unavailable for things like criminal, traffic, court. So she's basically just getting right back in. I don't know. Daisy's, Daisy's kind of smart, I guess. I mean, she's going to do whatever the fuck she wants to do. Justice. Judges. Enforcers. Like, let's... How many Steve Delive accounts are there? Is there other accounts, like, with my name on it? Because there should only be one. There should only be one. Only one. That'd be concerning if there's more than one be unavailable because in a world that's made for everyone we don't own we belong to and if there's no owning there's no enforcing we never had jails or courthouses before we started owning land why in the emergency room right <laughs> that's i'm glad i can entertain i guess but uh i hope you're all right and as soon as we started owning land, we had nuclear family instead of tribe. And then we started having trauma. And what's trauma? It means we're in our sympathetic nervous system, which means there's an incoherency in our brain wave. It's in beta. So our brain is not communicating with our heart. It's not communicating with our gut. And that's what trauma is. It's just an incoherency in the frequency. So we want to not be traumatized by, by touch, by grooming, by words of affirmation, by positive reframe. This reminds me a lot of the, uh, what was it? Recovery work, rehab work, the thing with what's his face. I was going to call him Muhammad Ali for some reason. Prince, the, the, um, what was it? It started with an R. I don't think recovery is the right word though. Repair work. That's what it was. Repair work. Processing happen in ways where we are received with a warm positive regard where that's not good i hope you're okay where we have a space with loving acceptance to receive empathy compassion where we wallow in them we need healthy ways to relate and it's not by putting people in jail it's a very traumatizing place there's no clean water there is no food for vegans the food is not nutritional it's not healthy. They basically starve you and give you poison. 
it's not okay. And what we're doing to the earth is not okay either. One of our biological cycles. Uh, the Discord's members only. So if you want, if you become a member and any chair, it's, uh, it's in the descriptions of the videos and has to be that way because there's crazy people out there. I guess crazy people can still come in with a dollar, but then at least I don't, it really decentivizes people making like 50 accounts. They're gonna have to pay $50 in to keep coming in to cause a whole bunch of havoc because if you can believe it or not, there's a few people, a handful, like a good, I guess, hundred people that hate the fuck out of me. Um, so I just like, I don't want to deal with them. So if you want to pay a dollar, you can come in the discord. But um, other than that, I got to keep it like that. Logical social needs is a watering hole. And we have cemented hot springs, like within miles of us, there's rivers and creeks and ponds that we've cemented, like watering holes. These are entire ecosystems that are gone. And as we evolve to higher species, we're not going to be third dimensional, which means we know that there's us and others, but we think we're separate. Fifth dimensional means that we know we're all God. Second dimensional is like live or die. That's like a cell. And first dimension is a rock. You are and you don't know that you are. Fifth dimensional means that we have a higher purpose. We're a higher being. We can meet the needs for the whole planet. We have incredible power and gifts and talents. And if we use them to towards our meaning and purpose, instead of being what someone else is about in a market economy, and all we have to do is tell industry, AKA courthouses like this, thank you, but you're like a friend who I've given too much power to. I'm going to take you off my bank account. You're not going to live with me anymore. You're moving out of my house. You're not handling my food anymore. I don't like what you've been doing to it. Stop. You're not being nice. I mean, everyone has haters, I guess, but yeah, I don't know. Mine, mine are a little. Can be, they can be a little extra sometimes. And we take our power back and we start to do it in community, and then our earth is going to heal, and we're going to have a healthy planet and healthy humans, and this place is going to be replaced by us, fellowships and community members. And I'm talking about the most powerful. She wants to live in like a utopia kind of world where. No one works. We all just lay around and cuddle and fuck, and that's it. Nothing gets done. So we're going to take over this place. We're going to take over this place. We're going to make it like that. There'll just be beds everywhere, you know? Like, um, kind of like Happy Madison. Didn't, was it like there were a bed in the pool or something? People loving people in here are the ones in the uniform in there. The, the judges and the sheriff's deputies and the clerks and the people who work here. They're here on people's worst day. They care more than anyone. Those are the superheroes. Those are those gurus meant to show up on people's worst day, which is what they do because they care. And we got to give them more love and support and tools. That's right, Miranda. Because I made a couple of videos on people that they didn't really like. And then, um, well, I didn't want to call, man, a pedophile for not being enough evidence of being one and after being framed for a whole bunch of other pedophilic shit that turned out to be variably false along with a whole bunch of other stuff but then uh that whole that whole other community was also defending a guy who got i don't, I don't know if he could say nudes he was sexting with a 13 year old though um he was like well they said they were 16 but he was like fucking i don't know 20 or something um so i was like that's a double standard and i don't know People just like to use that out of context, but it's fun. It's fun times. You live and you learn. So they can actually bring gifts like Alcoholics Anonymous help people get sober. But drunkardness used to be criminalized and we had courts and judges just like this. And now they're replaced by fellowships. And now if you call Alcoholics Anonymous, they will send someone to your house. They will pour out your drugs and alcohol. They will drive you to court. They will drive you to a meeting every day. They'll be your best friend. They'll be your sponsor. They'll call you on the phone every day, and they will never charge you anything. You never have to give anything. They will pass the basket. If you want to put something in, fine. You never have to if you don't want to. If you're willing and you're able, you can, but you don't have to. It's, it's the kind of place that there's never been any scam. It's gone all over the world, healing people, needing needs. And it's drunk hardness. Drunk people used to be seen as lifelong. There was no cure. Oh, there's no cure for alcoholism? Is that what you're saying? I thought she meant, like, alcoholics used to live forever. They were immune to, like, addiction, but they were just, they were alcoholics, you know? And now it's widely accepted 
that you will get a spiritual awakening if you do these 12 steps. And it's time for all of us to have that spiritual awakening. It's time for all of us to replace systems like this. Get my love crusaders out of there. Look at those hunks. The hottest men and women in the world are usually the ones in uniform because it takes charisma and care and compassion to show up on people's birthday. And these kings and queens get enemy image for no good reason other than they don't have better tools. It's not their fault. So let's raise them up and get the sheriff's deputies and the judges out of there and put them in the powerful positions that they're meant to be in, the love crusaders. The squirrels, the birds, you know, it's like Snow White. When you're like singing, uh, but like, yeah, I don't think anyone is actually around her listening to this. The empathy angels, where they show up, they identify these behaviors not as crimes, but as strategies to meet needs. They look underneath the behavior to the underlying needs, and then they give their energy and attention, and they do something I call do gooding. And do gooding is what we do instead of punishing. It's, a, it's the same thing except for everyone benefits. It's beautiful. It's the most loving, wonderful, pleasurable thing in the world. It's wonderful. I highly recommend it. We will replace all punishment and reward systems with this new thing that I like to call do gooding. And do gooding makes. That's why you guys got to sub to her channel. I was appalled that she only had seven subs. She's like, I need subs. Who is she telling to sub to her channel? She goes around and talks to a billion people a day, right? What about Yoshi? What about. That guy who films her. What about, um, I'm sure we've seen her with more than seven people on the channel. That's why I'm like, why aren't they sub to her? Is it a secret channel? That'd be weird to have a secret public YouTube channel with your face on it, but I don't know. Everyone's eyes sparkle. Anyone witnessing feels wonderful. People's jaws drop. They feel awestruck. Can you feel your breath deepening right now and your shoulders relaxing and coming down? And look at, you look close. You guys got proud chest. Look how beautiful you are. Maybe a beautiful smile on your face. Just thinking about do gooding. And that's the true gift in this world is natural giving. Do gooding. That's what we're here for. That's we get to be a part of all of that superhero squad. We're not humans any, anymore, by the way. Because the humans in Apex Predator, they use their power over. They deny their power. They deny their choice. They live in separation. I mean, it sounds like you're denying being a human. That's like literally... You could say you're a lot of other things, but you can't deny being a fucking human. I she doesn't like the label though because of all all of the bad things humans have done, I guess. But no, you're a human. You can argue, I guess, and say I am not I don't identify as a female or I am a fucking I don't know. But you're a human. Like that's that's what you are. Because life emerges in and what results is powerlessness but superheroes aren't about that shit you got the superior report how about the superhero house and the superheroes they're see they're just like the humans except they look the same but but they're way faster they're way smarter they're way sweeter their hearts melt they, they forgive and forget right away they're all about making life more wonderful they want to know what the person's feeling what the person's needing they want to share what they're feeling they want to share what they're needing they want to get about the solution and that's what's up I call this. I mean, it'd be this one, right? Like, you know, she even said, like, she named it Wawa. It's like she's got the the Daisy Venice healer thing, which is like her her thing. Um, it'd be is this a knockoff? I don't know. I don't know. It'd be weird if it were. Is there another Wawa channel? Do gooding. Do gooding is not a punishment. Restoration. Repair of rupture. This is restorational justice. Punitive justice is ouchy. Like, oh, you bit, so I'm going to scratch. Oh, you did, like, it doesn't work. And it's only because we're benefiting a monster that could. We're, like, only halfway through this. So I'm going to, uh, we're going to speed it up. And we're also going to maybe skip ahead a little bit. She's still sitting there. Okay. Make life more wonderful. And this is the beautiful, soft way forward. It's the love crusaders leading us. Anyone you see with a gun or a badge cares so much. Those are the care bears. If you look underneath, I swear to God, every one of them is going to have a beautiful picture of what kind of care bear they are. And that's their gifts and talents. And you'll see their pupils, their hearts shaped 
especially the judges, because they really, they really care. And they want to make life more wonderful. Give the Love Crusaders the tools they need. They're showing up on people's worst days. These are the gurus. Let them learn nonviolent communication, hypnosis, positive reframing, compassionate communication, resonance, the power of joining someone's body in the frequency they are in, attuning with your body, empathizing, feeling their energy, tracking it in your body, tracking it in their body, somatically experiencing together. Some of you may learn how to teach the breath work or the yoga. I think a lot of you are just going to be coaches because you're so amazing and charismatic. Look how handsome these beautiful officers are coming into people's lives. Anyone who's in jail with prisoners, think about how much you got to love your community to be willing to be in jail. These people are angels. And it's not fair that they got to suffer because these systems stop causing, causing suffering for them That's because they're systems of industry. These are the crusaders who should have all of the resources they need, and they don't. we don't need to be getting paid. Alcoholics Anonymous is all off willingness and capacity, and, and let's just start do-gooding. So give these guys skills and tools to do do-gooding. I'll give you an example. My mother does sneak attacks, and she'll try to get me arrested and won't talk to me for years. And my kids, too. And so the public therapy session now. Yeah. Big mess. And I, was in I mean, I guess that's always what this kind of was. She's not the courthouse anymore, right? She's just like walking around town, making her way downtown with a megaphone in my hand, being crazy. PCFS and PTS, and my kids were in foster. Da, 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 There's so much pain. Kings and queens, and you can see that they have fearlessness, love, consideration for others. They have a lot of amazing qualities that I would like to have, that others would like to have who are going through a hard time. Could you imagine if these crusaders talked to my mother and my children and helped us to restore our family? So I don't got to keep ending up. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, could you guys help me do it better? Like, all of a sudden I got all these punishments and probation and stuff coming at me. Like, this doesn't help me get creative and conscious, you guys. I need coaches who love me, who share my dilemma. And if you don't share my dilemma and you're... Who you, like... These are just kind of people on the street, right? What the fuck are they going to do? They're just here to evaluate me and tell me what I'm doing wrong and then dole out punishment. If you're not actually sharing my dilemma with me the way a coach would, why would I trust you? And you're telling me I can't be honest with you? Like, where is the learning and growth here? So I'm inviting these officers who I actually admire and look up to and I care about what you guys think and I will listen to you. I'm inviting you. Take off those damn uniforms. Not because I want to see your hunky muscles. It's not about that. I want you to be superheroes and not be in a uniform about what someone else is about. I want to hear what you're about. And I am open to hearing about how I can do it better. I am open to learning about what kind of reassurance my mother needs so that I can give the trust my kids need and whatever, you know, whatever it is. Like, I want to do that. But I need to help with a way forward with do-gooders. Not enforcers or judges or all this other stuff. Like, you guys aren't even fooling me. Look at your pupils are heart-shaped. Your pupils are heart-shaped enforcers, which are the cops. Is she just talking to the cops? Are the cops finally there just watching her do this? Judge, yeah, right. Take that cloak off. That's a joke. Underneath, a superhero cape with a big heart on it, <laughs> which means that you care and you want me to consider others. Like the fucking Care Bears. So much that you're willing to do what it takes. Well, it's painstaking the way you're doing it. It hurts. Don't do that. I'm going to guess Arkansas man got her the, microphone, the megaphone. Do the do goodies. Everyone benefits from it, I swear. There's way more learning and growth happens a lot faster. And we got to tame this market economy bullshit so it's not running our life anymore by market economy. No more food, no more no more industry in our family, no more industry with our water. We're going to free our watering holes. Guess what industry is going to be for? For extravagance. For people who like need way more than we do. For us regular folks, non-humans, we take care of the needs of the whole planet. You want to be about games? You want a place where the stars are born, where the treasure hunting goes, the treasures, the trinkets, whatever it is, that's the market right. economy. But for us regular folk, we got to get industry out of our lives and tell these judges and cops, start a new fellowship. That's what's up. Start a call to love. Get rid of 911. I don't claim to know anything. Get rid of 911. She's trying to like have incite a riot against the police. I could see this going pretty bad. Does she actually influence anybody to do anything? Thanks. I'm not the teacher. I'm not the one. I'm just here to bring us together. I'm just asking questions. I claim to do two things. Number one, awaken. You're too lovable for this shit. You're not a human. You're a superhero. 
second thing I'm here to do is unite us. Let's come together with our universal needs, find out what everyone's needing. Emotions are important too. The second thing we do is give empathy to the emotions and then we move forward. We don't gotta strategize anymore. We don't gotta try to figure it out because if we are dealing with the emotions and the needs, I swear to God, the intrinsic motivations will just arise and we won't have to strategize. And we will just move and flow together like a group conscience mind. That's what we are. There's nothing that separates you or I from the light that shapes this whole entire universe. There's stars in your eyes. Your super star light, star bright, beautiful angel inside and out. Superheroes rise with incredible power. Comes incredible responsibility. Mic drop. That's what's up. By the way, this is Lindsay Davis. I have court at 830. Please don't judge that. I'm not available, and I love the judge very much. And um, let's just high five and give each other a hug and let bygones be bygones. That's what's up. That was good. That was really good. Yeah, thank you for your energy. <laughs> are we good? You're done. I hope you're done. Well, I mean, we are done. I'm not listening to another four minutes of this one. We're going to what's this? This is a weird one, I think. Oh, we don't even know. Mm, I don't know how long this is, but this is a weird one. Um, she's in some kind of place. I think it's a tent with a mystery man and a dog. Hello, hello, Which she should probably not be around dogs. And that's really loud. Hold on. Hold up. Let's not kill our ears. Not today, Satan. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, we got a show. Come, 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 come for you. You want to, hey, you want us to build a Oh, this speaker's not loud enough. Okay, we need the louder one. Gotcha. This is all new Bombay Beach. You got to go sub to her new channel. It's in the description. Tell her Steve sent you. And, um,. Yeah, no, she only had seven subs, and the account's been up for a week. I don't know what she's doing. She's terrible at marketing, apparently. I think that's a fan back there, or like a mobile, like a fucking kid's mobile. Oh, shit. I forgot we were at the zoom in. Yo, she's like, all my friends think good. I may as well do it too. Uh, yeah, you said it's never been game. Okay, she's smoking weed. Like, he's like, dang, I'm playing a tool thing. I can do it. I don't know who she's with, but some guy. Maybe Arkansas man, but I don't know if they'd be in a tent if it was Arkansas man. I think maybe Arkansas man's out with his wife. I don't... The guy... I don't know. I don't know about Arkansas man. Or maybe he's in Arkansas. Is it a DJ? Is this a DJ? We're live. The we're live. The beach right here. Um. What? What is this? A radio man? He's a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> What is she spoken? <laughs> also, this uh, stream is for educational purposes only. I am not condoning 
drug use, especially when I don't even know what fucking drugs are being used. So this is not, um, viewer discretion is advised and uh, yeah, uh, I don't condone this behavior. I don't do drugs. Oh no. I think it's fucking dead. That's terrible. I think I can actually. It is medicine. Gotta get dip. Gotta get dip. Gotta get dip. This is what we're doing. Like these lines, 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 like is she singing? I had to get my charger. Okay, so I thought I lost this. I thought I was. I thought I was going insane, um, and I, maybe I was. But I found it. I found it, so I can charge my vape because I I can't do this. So I mean, I don't do drugs. <laughs> Oh, she's making up her own lyrics again. Gotcha. I mean, I should have, I should have guessed that. Our progression, yeah, coming out here to Venice, blue house, rotten. I got friends like OG and my team. He's so good at throwing down the bleed. Uh, OG's only. The people, bro, 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 uh. Oh. Got a sidekick named Yoshi. Look like Snoop Dogg. Okay, so that's Yoshi. All right, <laughs> you guys don't like you guys don't like her singing. Let's, um, where is it? I can never see the fucking ball. All right, what's this? What's Yoshi gonna do? I mean, she looks it. Broken. Oh, 
everywhere you go. Cross squad, 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 go. Cross This dog has had enough of her shit. It's been 19 minutes. 19 minutes of this nonsense. Dog's like, fuck this. Learning and growth, you're exactly where you're meant to be. Keep doing what you do, you're perfect for you. And that means you're perfect for me. Teacher, master, can't you see you're the same as me? Different avatar, though, it's like in that same body. Spin, spin, same spirit as me. Love you, God, no, God, as I love you so much. Come and lay in my bu 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 bosom, my mother earth. Come here, I'm gonna love you forever. You belong no matter what. Keep stepping and step it up and step up and Inside yourself, you could do it. Blast off. No one is like you. No one's been here before. Done what you've done. Know what you know. Got the gifts and talents you have. There's no star like you, Starlight Star Bright. You've been here to shine. So blast off. Shine bright, Starlight Star Bright. Here we go. Here we go. And I push the tech ball in. We're going to bounce the ball. Here we go. Who needs to watch out for the bird? The mask is up there. And a the baby pigeon in us. Please love us and make a and please acknowledge your feelings and needs with me. I want all of us to matter, and I want us to tune and also to be seen. I know there are good intentions, cause it's what never, be, never, never, never before. <laughs> There's two dogs now? Where the fuck did the second dog come from? I think Xavier would get along with these guys. Like my Miranda wrongs. I think they were China dogs and China dog his wife. They always let the restitution for the resolutions that sounded just like restitution. Woo-ha! Microphone one. He's just like her. Why aren't they together? He's just as crazy. He's going on about like he sounds like a male daisy. They should get together. Come. Maybe he's one of her kings. Man. At Paramount Studios, choose your Paramounts. What Paramounts would you choose? The Heavy Warbird Dragon? Or both? Don Steve, looking just like Chili on Roxy by our sides. It's a nice Sporky Gear! Is he just doing this fucking show for his dogs? He's looking at his dogs being like, what are you going to choose? What Paramount are you going to have? What is this? Round two. Round two. Final round. Fight. Take the she hook, sir. Is it, do the dogs even like this? All right, this is crazy. Hold up. Whoops. Oh my god. That's Harley Quinn with a David baseball bat. The only way that you can get on the dungeon is with the following methods. By simply yelling the word Prince. Oh. 
I think they got burnt out. They got burnt out. Okay. Well, that was something. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So this is the second last thing. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what to say after that last thing. Think about how lovable you are. Think about how lovable you are. You're so good. You're so sweet. You're so amazing. So these are a whole bunch of... Um, she did like a whole bunch, not short enough videos for them to be shorts, but I wouldn't classify them as like long videos. Um, we might have to split this up actually. We might have to revisit this on Saturday because I'm coming up on two hours and that's my max. I don't go past two hours anymore. So um, yeah, we might wrap it. We might have to put a pin in it here just so we're in like even territory. I don't think we can, if we go in another five minutes, yeah, we might. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. Ryan, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm an old man nowadays, you know. And this is definitely not getting monetized, so I don't even have like a monetary incentive to go past two hours. Um, but now we'll be back. So tomorrow is Heather like Feral Friday, um, and then what are we gonna do with this thing? Um, and so yeah, Saturday we'll come back to Daisy after like the cup stream, I guess. And because there's, we have enough. There's, um, I think this section of videos is like 20 minutes. And how long is this one? We should get the fucking megaphone again. How long is this? This is 27, 27 minutes. So there's like at least an hour of content left. I can't go three hours. So like I gotta, we'll put a pin in it here. I did put the link in the description below if you want to jump ahead, if you want to do some homework. Um, or if you just want to watch these with headphones in or something so you can really hear the really the nonsense that i didn't want to also jumped around the fucking um that singing one a lot so if you want to see this one it's all its glory you can go go give her a sub you should give her a sub anyway so if you like her content um she's trying to to get enough she can stream anytime i don't know what she's talking about but that'll be nice of you anyways i hope you have a great night guys and i will see you all tomorrow if you're gonna watch heather take care